Happening right now in Tallahassee, the Florida Senate debating new gun legislation. Now, this the discussion started several hours ago, and as you can see, they're still going strong. Someone's speaking right there. This bill is called the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Act. A long name. What it means, though, if it's passing, it could pave the way to arming teachers and other school staff. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes is monitoring all of this. He is live in South Tampa with the latest on it. So the debate goes on there, Ryan. So uh, what else can you tell us about it? Keith, good evening. As you just saw, the Senate is still at it at this hour, still trying to, de to decide what to do. Florida State Senator speaking for hours on the controversial multi-tiered school public safety bill. Is that a response to gun violence should not be to put more guns in our schools. At center stage, a debate whether some teachers and school staff should carry guns. The Hillsborough County Council PTA with this strong stance. Hillsborough County PTA and Florida PTA do not support the Marshall Plan, which would involve arming teachers. The bill came to light following the school shooting in Parkland. It bans bump stocks, expands waiting periods, and raises the age to buy a gun in Florida to 21. If school districts choose, some staff would be armed, but that isn't mandatory. The Hillsborough PTA would rather use money from the bill to train additional school resource officers, not staff members. Teachers are trained to teach. Um, police officers are, are trained to keep us safe. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd doesn't understand the outcry. Do you want someone well trained with a firearm to intercede and stop the active shooter before he kills your child? If your answer is yes, then the marshals program has to stay in the Florida legislature. Volunteers would undergo drug screens, psychological evaluations, and 132 hours of firearms training. And the Florida House of Representatives will debate the bill later in the week. Live in Tampa, I'm Ryan Hughes, News Channel 8.